Hey guys, um, it's Tyler here, and um, with Nixter, aka NWB1989 on Skype. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic, I'm a member, so you don't have to. <laughs> Not really. I'm in my Halloween costume. Happy Halloween, everyone. Yep. So, anyways, um, now we're going to do... Um, my Walt Disney home video VHS collection because I decided I'm gonna I decided I'm gonna do some of my my VHS collection again this time um um with my because um let me with my company you know the by company this time and actually this is actually by Walt Disney and this is Walt Disney home video tapes I have a total of either 28 or 29 I'm not totally sure. I have 20 clamshells and I have 20, I mean, I have 8, um, 8 ones with, I mean, 6 with slipcovers and 2 without cases and 20, 20 clamshells. So, are we ready? Yes, we are. First, First um, Walt Disney Home videotape I have is the 1999 60th anniversary edition VHS of Pinocchio. THX certified. One of the greatest American films of all time, says Joe Siegel. Here's the ink label, and the print date is September 20th, 1999. So yeah, next Walt Disney Home videotape I have is the 1995 VHS of Blank Check. If you love Tom Malone, you'll love Blank Check. Blank Check says the movie minute. Have you seen Blank Check? It's okay, in my opinion, even though Nostalgia Critic cr trashed on it. I heard it got mixed reviews. Yeah. And the print date's March 25th, 1996. And the next Walt Disney on video VHS I have is A Bug's Life. Which, uh, this one I, I've seen too many times, so I, I now don't really care for this movie anymore. What do you think of A Bug's Life? It's not that bad of a movie. Yeah, I respect your opinion. I've just seen this movie too many times. Print date's March 7, 1999. It has a sticker label. Next Walt Disney on videotape I have is Flubber, Robin Williams. Rest in peace, Robin Williams, because I know he passed away. May you rest in peace, my good man. Yeah. Outrageously funny, says WBA Radio New York. I don't know the Soldier Kirk trashed on this movie, too, but I personally thought this was a good... I mean, a fun movie. Not necessarily good, but a fun movie. Have anything now, to say? What movie is that again? Flubber. Oh, alright. For dates, February 17, 1998. What do you think of this movie? Despite being a, re a remake of the Absent Minded Professor, mm -hmm. I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, I think I thought it was good too. I mean, well, fun. Not necessarily good. Next Walt Disney on videotape I have is Airbud. Walt Disney Pictures presents. It was just supposed to say KNXCBS Radio. Sorry if I mispronounce anything. It's just because I I woke up about an hour ago. A heart a heartwarming family comedy. I make you feel good. Says New Day Kids Day. Now they made an air on 
the ink label, the save. It says PG-13 on there, and this movie's PG, though. So that's incorrect. But anyways, here's the ink label, and the print date's November 21st, 1997. This is a former rental for Video Library. And I also have the sequel, Airbud Golden Receiver. And I have the third one on DVD, but after the third one, I didn't care for the rest. You and your kids will love Personally, this movie. Yeah? Personally, I don't care for the Airbud sequel. Yeah, me either. Says so Kansas City Sun. Here's the ink label, and the print date September 10, 1999. Have anything else to say? No. Next, I got Squanto Tower's Tale. Action Fills is Los Angeles Times, or LA Times, whatever you'd like to say it. Recommend this adventure to friends. This is an okay movie in my opinion. This one I have seen before. Birth date's August 22nd, 1997. Any thoughts about this one? Nope. Zippo. Next I got the 2000 VHS Vantage of 2000. I'm just assuming this is part of the Walt Disney Home video. No, it doesn't have it on the spine. But I'm just assuming it does because the tape has it. What did you think of Fantasia 2000? I do like the classical features, but personally there are a few segments I don't care for, and I especially do not like the celebrity appearances. I have to agree with you. THX certified, and Walt Disney on Bill. Honest to God, why the hell do they have to have celebrities in this? I know. Appearances. <laughs> I have to agree with you. And for some reason, Ray G and Walt Disney Video logos are like up top. I don't know why. Did somebody make an error on this tape or something? Did somebody make an error on this tape? Or that they might, they might have screwed it up. Yeah, they might have screwed it up. I don't know. Or screw their skull up. Yeah. Print date's August 4th, 2000. Next Walt Disney Home Video tape I have is. Same as first kid, Disney's best comedy in years is KNX CBS Radio. Have you seen First Kid? No. Um, it's okay in my opinion. You might like this one. Recommend this hit the friends. Eh, sort of. Print dates July 26, 1997. More like recommend this to losers. Uh, yeah. Next, Walt Disney on video tape I got is Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas, which I do have the first one. I have the, the two copies of the Diamond Edition VHS. I mean, not Diamond Edition. I mean, the Walt Disney Classics VHS. Sorry. I just woke up this morning about an hour ago, so I'm, I'm all messed up. So, um, yeah. So I do have two copies of the Walt Disney Classics release of Beauty and the Beast, and I do have I do have the 2002 special edition VHS Beauty and the Beast, which I'll show in my Walt Disney Home Entertainment tapes, which will be next after this. The all new movie. Have you seen Beauty and the Beast in China Christmas? I have a long time ago. Yeah, and surprisingly, I and unfortunately I do not have the 2002 special edition VHS as of yet, but I'm planning to get it soon. The original cast returns for Disney until chapter and tales all his time. Because I do, I still sort of collect Disney tapes every once in a while. I still collect. Any more thoughts? Nope. Here's the ink label and the print date's October 18, 1997. Next, I got the Walt Disney Home Video release of 101 Dalmatians, the remake of Going Close. 
An okay one. Have you seen the Hunter Two? I mean, Hunter One Dalmatians remake. I have. I have too. It's okay. It's not as good as the original, of course. Some of the scenes are are actually kind of funny. But yeah. I still personally prefer the animated classic. I agree. The first date's March 18, 1997. Yeah. See what my actual opinion is. But enough of that. Next, I have the sequel, 102 Dalmatians, with Glenn Close. And this Never one. Seen it. This one's not too good. Me Too and Likely Hills with the Bone to Pick. I mean, it's not awful or anything, it's just not really that good. Here's the sticker label. has, like, polka dots on it. It's a white sticker label. That's pretty weird. Bird date, January 29th, 2001. Next is Dinosaur. This one, this one a friend of mine gave me. That's why it's in a pink clamshell. What did you think of this movie? Good God! Yeah... It's an okay movie, in my opinion. It's, it's, it's pretty average. Yeah, I have to agree with you. It is pretty average, even though I think it's okay. And I've like, seen it a few times. Mm. I'm going to stick with Dumb Boots Night Before Time over this. Yeah, and I, I will admit, it's kind of a Land for Time ripoff. It's like, with lemurs. right there, I don't know why. PG and again the, the again Beamers, Disney like oh sorry in, in the boom of boo. the boom of boo. oh my god yeah. again. and by the way um yeah. Disney messed it up again messed up the ink label again film rating PG the front dates November 13 2000 Next, I got Toy Story. I got rid of Toy Story 2 because now I hate that sequel. In my opinion. I just like the first Toy Story. I didn't like 2 or 3. What did you think of Toy Story? A fun... I think it's a fun... Entertaining flick. Yeah, it's okay. And the uh, print date it is. Deserves to share memories. Yep. With children all over the world. Print date September 14, 1996. So that's gonna do it for part one. Stay tuned for part two.